What's up guys, Kino here for the very rare and elusive uh, Pokemon Showdown OU Live. Um, yeah, the DLC just came out and it's pretty awesome, The all the new Pokemon, all the new stuff we got today. And I built a team with it that I have been really, really enjoying. It's super fun, it's hyper offense, it's very aggressive, it's really fun to play. So I wanted to record a few games with it. Um, this will probably be one of the shorter ones because I have not been feeling super well lately. But anywho, so... Here's the team, right? We have basically it's hyper offense. It's with uh, lead, focus sash, weak armor, skarmory. I get a million people asking, why do you use focus sash? You could use sturdy, da 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 da. I want weak armor, so if I get hit, I get my speed raised, and then I can either kill myself with Brave Bird so they can't rapid spin or defog, or I can like taunt a slower defog user, things like that. So I'm weak armor with focus sash. It was a thing before, I promise. I'm not making this up. Anywho, so that's my lead, right? And then. Uh, the rest of the team is kind of centered around abusing grassy terrain, so I do have Rillaboom, obviously. Um, I was going back and forth on different Rillaboom sets, but I was between Scarf and like just like um, a, a more offensive like Grassy Glide variant, because obviously Grassy Glide is out, and it is very strong, 70 base power and priority in grassy terrain, so it was a super good move, but this one doesn't have it, obviously. Um, Magnezone, this traps Ferrothorns. This set is super cool because it sets up a sub on Ferrothorn for free. Um, with Chapelberry, sub does not is not broken by body press from Ferrothorn, and then I can set up an iron defense and sub again, and then I just I'm just gonna kill them with my own body press. So with uh, Ferrothorn gone, that also helps Armageddon win. We're running a really dumb Magirna set. I think this is actually stupid broken, but it's bulky with Calm Mind, uh, Iron Defense, Stored Power, Draining Kiss. The idea is you just boost up on stuff, and um, then you click Stored Power, and everyone dies, and it's great. And uh, with Grassy Terrain, one Earthquakes are weakened, so, uh, you know, it's harder to just revenge Magirna with that super effective hit. Plus, you're getting uh, Grassy Terrain Recovery and Leftovers Recovery. This was originally weakness policy, but I have just been finding more success with um, with Leftovers, so I switched to Leftovers. And then finally, we have Alolan Marowak, which is, like, low-key the MVP of the team. It comes in on so many, like, huge OU threats right now. It, it hard checks Rotom Heat. It hard checks uh, Clefable. It hard checks, um, obviously, like all the grass types. I can just fire punch them. Like this Marowak set, it's just Marowak in general with lightning with lightning rod is super good. And I don't have to run. I can run lightning rod fire punch. I don't need flare blitz anymore with Rockhead because we got this move Poltergeist, which is 110 base power. It's so strong. Uh, it can miss, of course. It is only 90 accuracy, but I've been pretty lucky so far with it. Hopefully, I didn't just jinx myself right there. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into uh, the first game. Alright, so first game, my opponent has a Chansey, and that's really cool because Magirna actually 1v1s Chansey, and I think that's super funny. Um, however, he does have a Moongus, and if that puts me to sleep, that's going to be super annoying, obviously. Uh, which Urshifu? He's got Urshifu, the Dark Urshifu, so that thing has like no switch-ins, honestly. But So I'm just going to go ahead, probably lead, uh, if he's rapid, he's definitely rapid spin star me, it's kind of hard to deal with, honestly. Uh, it's not that bad, actually. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna lead this. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm gonna get my rocks. If he wants to attack me, that's fine. Uh, I will get my weak armor after this, and we'll be chilling. If he wants to go star me, that's also fine, because now I'll be faster. And I'm just gonna spam rocks. If he goes Corviknight or uh, Chansey, I can taunt, and then I can go hard Marowak, which will be hilarious, because um, I get a free sub on that. As he goes, yeah, he goes Corviknight. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to taunt that immediately. I don't want him to uh, defog my rocks away. I worked so hard to put him up, honestly. Let's see what he goes for. As he tries to bulk up on me, no, sir. That is not going to happen. Um, Let's see. I could get a spike here. I know, I'm pretty sure he's just going to go star me here to try and spin the hazards away. Um, So I kind of want to double out predicting that. I want to go into my uh, Magnezone. So let's try that. I typically don't switch out. Yeah, I was gonna say I typically don't switch out my um, my Skarmory ever. I just use it as a suicide lead. But um, in this case, I think it's fine. So let's go ahead, just click Thunderbolt. I know he's got that Chansey right there, but I don't feel like I need to predict because I can just go Marowak on this. Um, I can also I can sub first. I I mean, what would he do? What is he even gonna do to me? He's just gonna seismic toss, right? I'm just gonna go hard Marowak as he gets up his rocks, which is fine. He literally. Oh, he, I don't want to sub, actually, because he has Dragapult, um, and that obviously has Infiltrator. Um, I could just Fire Punch. He doesn't have a great Fire Punch switch in. Or, sorry, not Fire Punch. I could Poltergeist. Poltergeist. I keep saying Poltergeist. That's the name of the Pokemon. Um, yeah, I don't think... He, if anything, he's Teleport. He's probably Teleport. Yeah, I'm going to Fire Punch, uh, because he could definitely just click Teleport. 
He goes hard star me, but I'm um, actually pretty okay. This is going to do a lot of damage, yeah. And I can revenge this with uh, Rillaboom. I'm going to go hard Rillaboom now, actually. If he burns me with Scald, it's pretty annoying. If he rapid spins, I don't think he's going to rapid spin. But um, he goes for Meteor Beam, Power Herb. That does a, that does a chunk of damage, not going to lie. That, that did a pretty hefty amount of damage. But U-Turn should be able to knock this out if he decides to stay in. Let's see. It does knock him out awesome, so we get to keep our hazards. And uh, I might even be able to get more spikes up. So let's see. I am very scared of the Urshifu, obviously. Um, and I want to, if I kill the Amoongus, Magirna wins on the spot. So that should be my goal, right? Is get rid of Amoongus. Um, I think I'm going to go into my Skarmory here. This does invite in Urshifu, although, I mean, well, you know, it, it definitely invites in Urshifu. <laughs> it 100% invites in Urshifu. Uh, we'll see what he wants to go for. If he does go Dragapult, I'll probably taunt. I can't let him set up too much on me or we could be in a bit of trouble. Urshifu is so good, man. For those of you who don't know, it's Wicked Blow. It's 80 base power. It always crits and you can't protect against it. So he does go Dragapult, right? And this could definitely just be Fire Blast. Um, let's see. I think we can Brave Bird here. I, I think we can Brave Bird once. I think that's okay. If he's sub, it's a little annoying. Uh, if he's sub, it's actually really annoying. Uh, as he does actually Dragon Dance, but that's fine. This will do some nice damage. That did some really nice damage. Um, in case he is disabled, I'm actually going to taunt as he's DD Fire. He's the old set. Okay, I thought people were going to be wanting to run new stuff, but that's that's cool. Um, I can yeah, I just go into my Halucha here, and I can just click Acro because I do. I am unless he's Jolly, I am faster than this. He goes into his Corviknight. That's fine. This is another thing that I want damage on. Um, in order to win with my Magirna, although maybe I'm thinking of Swords Dancing here, but he's just gonna bulk up, right? So he could be bulk up Agility Power Trip, something like that. I could also I could go Magnezone. He's definitely gonna be uh, Body Press because he sees my Magnezone right there, right? Um, let's see. I if he's zero speed, I should be faster than him. He could also U-turn, which would be kind of annoying. I'm just debating if I want to lose my um, if I want to lose the Unburden Boost I have right now. Um. You know, if he if he knocks me out with Brave Bird, I trap this. So I'll actually go for the. Uh, oh, but if he no, nah, if he bulks up, I still beat it. It's fine. I'll go for Sword Stance here. Let's see if he Brave Birds me. If he even has it, is he his bulk up? Um, but that's fine. Let's see how much this is. That's a nice amount. Does he Roost? He Brave Birds. That knocks me out. As he knocks himself out, so that's totally fine. Uh, the Urshifu is a huge threat. The Urshifu is definitely coming out right now. I have to go Rillaboom. Yep, there's the Urshifu. I think I can actually Drain Punch here. I think Drain Punch is okay. He should go Amoongus though, right? Amoongus, if he goes Amoongus, it's a little annoying. Um, I guess if he sleeps me though, I get to go Magnezone and set up a sub. Um, I wonder if Body Press can 1v1 Chansey. I'm actually not sure. Uh, but uh, let's see. Hmm. I could also Wood Hammer here. Wood Hammer would be really good. Wood it, just, it does more than Drain Punch to no matter what comes in. And even if I die, I think I'm okay. So let's go for the wood hammer as he does go into his Amoongus. Doesn't do much. Um, he could Sludge Bomb or Spore here. Let's see. I'm not sure what he'll click here. Do I want to sack this? That's another question. Do I want to just click it again? Because I could just click it again, right? Part of me wants to just click it again. I don't think I need Rillaboom right now. Because then I could go Magnezone and uh, get a sub up and try and win from there. Yeah, I think I'll I think I'll try that. He might double out also, expecting me to switch. He does not. All right, let's see. Does he knock me out or does he go for it? Yeah, he goes for a Spore, expecting me to switch. Nah, he has to kill me. Should I just this turn? Should I just switch out this turn? I think I'll just switch out this turn. That'd be pretty funny, right? All right. Well, Marowak is more expendable, so I'm actually if he spores Marowak, it's not a it's not the end of the world. I'll make the play here, as he does spore, but that's fine. He can definitely just go uh, back to Urshifu here. Uh, I do live rocks, so I will go Rillaboom now. Oh, just kidding. I don't live rocks. What am I talking about? All right, that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad. Uh, he might just sweep me with the close combat. Well, I will live a single close combat, thanks to uh, my Chapel Berry. And I'll get some chip on this with my Body Press. Oh, nice chip, real nice chip. And expecting him to be Bandit, I'll go Marowak here. And, uh... He could go Dragapult. Dragapult would be a good play for him right now. 
because it covers like everything. If it goes Dragapult, I have to try and set up with Magearna. Um, I haven't burned any sleep turns either, which is annoying. I think I have to go Magearna. I want to keep this as, as fodder. And if he's not banded, then I guess he's not banded, but... Yeah, he does go Dragapult. Cool. So I'm going to Iron Defense here first. Yeah, he can't sleep my Magearna. I think we actually might be able to uh, win this game. I'm Iron Defensing first because I don't want him to... Well, he wouldn't go um he wouldn't go harder Shifu, right? He goes Chansey. Oh, you're you're not gonna like what happens here, buddy. <laughs> I think McGarren is about to pull it back. Oh man, I think McGarren is about to pull it back. So when I get to uh, plus three combines, I actually one v one Chansey, which I think is really funny. I'll probably have to just settle for plus two though, because um, because it's he got it kind of got a free turn on me. But I think I win this. He can't sleep my Magirna with Amoongus, and I'm gonna be able to knock it out with Stored Power. I think I win this right now. I think Magirna's gonna do it. Let's see. All right, combined. He goes for the Seismic Toss. That is not doing enough, my guy. Yeah, I got that's that's one, this is one of the main reasons I do prefer leftovers over weakness policy. This matchup right here, which I've definitely played many, many, many times with this team. There's a lot of chancy around now. This matchup here, uh, we lose if we are not leftovers. We don't lose, but it's like way harder to win. So I'm gonna drain and kiss here. I want to be at a decent amount of HP, um, just in case he goes harder. Shifu, look how much that healed. Like we're actually, are we breaking even on that? I should have paid more attention. We're at 58. I'm gonna I'm gonna calm mind again one time. He can't. He literally can't go harder. Shifu. Okay, I think we win after three calm minds. That should do it, right? He should go Amoongus. He should sack Amoongus here. Honestly, keep me keep me low so the Urshifu close combat can knock me out. That's what he should do. Let's see if that's what he does. But um, if he stays in, we win. If he stays in on this turn right here, we win the game for sure. Let's see. Let's see if he sacks Amoongus. That's also why I wanted to save Marowak so we can. Okay, he stayed in. We win. Look at that. Twenty nine. He, oh, and he soft boiled too. That was definitely not the play, my guy. Definitely not the play. I'm gonna call mind again now. Yeah, we're just draining kiss again. Okay, we're back. That was really weird. All right, cool. So draining kiss. That does a nice amount to Amoongus. We get a nice amount of recovery from that too. That's really good. All right, so this dice distorted power. I do have to be wary of my draining kiss PP. I will say that much because um. Obviously, the chance he can try and PP stall me, but if I call mine one more time, I'm at plus six. And then I, I think at this point, stored power just one hit KOs Chansey, honestly. So we don't even have to worry about draining his PP anymore. So yeah, Magirna pulled it back. This one was looking kind of tough, but um, yeah, Magirna, Magirna tends to do that. It just wins in the end. He needs to either crit me with um, with um, Dragapult Fire Blast or or Phantom Force. And then he also has to crit me with Urshifu Close Combat because Wicked Blow will not do enough. It does like 30% with a crit. And I say crit because obviously crits ignore defense boosts. So this guy's probably going to time out and this game's also over. So I'm going to pause it and uh, I'll unpause it when this game ends. All right, we're back. He said, I timed out. I guess you guys can see that. I mean, he lost anyways. No, he just lost oh i'm gonna i gotta show you guys the chat this guy's trying to say some shit not some shit but where is it there, there, there. um no calc store power first chancy it dies easy this guy thinks he's gonna be close no it was not gonna be close All right, anyways. Let's get another game. Magirna doing what it does best and being broken. Magirna is going to get banned, by the way, guys. So I definitely want to have as much fun with this team as possible because every time I build a broken team, something on it uh, gets banned and that makes me sad. What the heck am I looking at? So this guy has Excadrill. I don't know if it's lead Excadrill, but in my experience, um, lead Excadrill has been like one of the few leads that's actually very hard for this team. I've been preferring uh, lead Rillaboom instead of lead Skarmory on this thing. It's just annoying if he's not lead Excadrill, but I think Rillaboom, Rillaboom kind of covers everything really well anyways. The only thing I have to really worry about is the um, is the Cinderace. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll lead Rillaboom. Let's see if he leads Excadrill. 
Look at the Cinderace. Go, go fucking figure, right? Um, I should be able to U-turn here, though, and go into my Marowak. As he... Okay, so he's Scarf. That's good to know that he's Scarf. That's really, really good information. He probably knows I'm Scarf at this point. Because otherwise, why would I stay in, right? I mean, if he was Scarf, he should have just Pyroballed, honestly. He 100% should have Pyroballed. My only switch in is Marowak, and Marowak doesn't exactly love taking that anyways. So he should have just clicked Pyroball, but whatever. This guy's thinking like, oh, shoot. Oh, and there goes the Corviknight. You love to see it. So, Corviknight actually doesn't get one hit KO'd by Magnezone, unless I'm Specs. It's actually pretty annoying. Um, so what are my other options here, right? I could go Marowak and click Sub. I could go... I don't want to go Skarm to get Rocks up yet, because he's just going to spin him away with Drill. Um, yeah, because the thing is, like, he U-turns into Excadrill, right? And that's really annoying for me. I mean, I guess he does that either way. I'll go I'll go zone here and just cl click T-Bolt. I might be bluffing Scarf also. Yeah, he does. He definitely doesn't die to this. Oh, he's also faster than me. As he goes into Drill on a Balloon. I want to Body Press here. I do still die to Earthquake, but something tells me he's going to expect me to be like Specs. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Cool, huge Body Press. And, um... Let's see. Halucha can win, but I don't think it can win yet. But it breaks really well. I want to damage the, the Drake Azult. I'll go Lucha here. I could have gone Skarm, but I didn't really see a point. Actually, I guess Skarm could have 1v1 Dix, is it really? Because this thing's like so low. But uh, we'll Sword Stance here. He's going to go into his Corviknight which is totally fine. This, so one of the do things I do like about this team is I do like weakening the Corviknight for my um, Magearna to win soon. Cool. So he showed he's actually faster than my Magnezone. That's rather annoying, honestly. Uh, I have to go Rillaboom. I'll get some recovery, which is nice, even though the rocks are pretty annoying, but I'll be able to kill this with knockoff because I am scurfed. Now he's going to be able to U-turn with his... Um, with his Cinderace right afterwards, I probably will just go into my Skarmory at that point. If he Pyroballs, um, that's tough, <laughs> but I think he's going to U-turn if he does that. All right, so we get rid of Corv, which is really, really, really good for our uh, Magirna winning, right? He goes Cinderace here. He really should just Pyroball. Um, should I just sack Magnezone then? I feel like, okay, so the good play is definitely sacking Magnezone. It literally doesn't do anything against his team, right? Um... But I feel like I want to keep that sack for later. Sacking Skarm's not even the end of the world if this dies, honestly. So I'll go Skarm here. Let's see if he U-turns or Powerballs. Nice. Okay, I really I really thought he was going to U-turn. That's the only reason I made that play. I have my weak armor now, so I will be faster than anything he brings in. And uh, if he goes Excadrill, I'm just going to not... I'm just going to try... I'm going to Brave Bird until that thing's dead. He goes into his Draco Zolt. So this is something I kind of want damage on also. Um, Let's see. I don't know how much damage I need on this for uh, Marowak to kill. Let's find out. We have the technology for that. It does 96 to 114. High chance to kill, um, but it guaranteed dies if I, uh, if, I, if I chip it a little bit. So I'm going to chip it a little bit. That is the decision that I have made. Let's see what he does here. He bolt beaks, of course. So we can go Marowak here. And because um, I'm pretty sure he's Scarf. I mean, he doesn't have a Poltergeist switch in anyway, so I'm just going to click that. I definitely want to keep this around, though, so I don't uh, lose to Drake's old clicking Bolt Beak. If he's like AV after all this, I'll be pretty upset. So, also what's kind of cool is if he goes Excadrill um, after this, we actually live the uh, Earthquake thanks to Grassy Terrain. So that's pretty neat. And uh, if he go, we're going to heal a little bit too, which is cool. As Yeah, alright, he's going to sack Excadrill, assuming we don't miss. Oh, I popped its air balloon. Oh my god, dude. I keep forgetting that that's a thing. Oh my god. See, that's a new mechanic that I have to get used to. But like I said, we do live that earthquake, so that's fine. I would have preferred to not have to take that trade, but it is what it is, I guess. Oh man, I, I totally forgot that that was a thing. Um, I can still win this with um, with uh, Magirna. Uh, he only has... Oh, he hasn't used any powerballs yet. Um, I think I have to sack this here now, though. I have my Chopple still, which is cool. Yeah, he just knocks here. 
There's the Flame Orb. I'm gonna go Rillaboom here just because I want the Grassy Terrain up because I'm gonna try and 1v1 this with my Magearna. I know he's just gonna mock me, that's fine. <laughs> he's gonna mock me. All right, we're gonna Iron Defense first. Yes, he stays in as he should. Oh, he's close combat, Jesus. All right, I have to Drain and Kiss here. Oh, we knock it out. We're back at full HP. We get the Soul Heart boost. All right, this is no, this definitely is not over yet. Drake's ult comes out. I'm going to Drain and Kiss this as well. I'm pretty sure it dies. Let's see. All right, we live that. Nice, it dies. We are basically back up to full almost. Yeah, we're pretty much at full. I think at this range we'll live a hit from Cinderace as well. Stored power being 100 base power is awesome. I really hope this kills. Yeah, we eat that Pyro Ball. Stored power knocks out. Magirna once again bringing it back. Bringing us back from the brink. And also the Grassy Terrain coming in huge clutch for sure. Keeping us real nice and healthy. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to stored power here. I don't think Magirna can knock me out. Yeah, Combine's not. Yeah, no, no, no. That's game. GG. Magirna. M fucking Magirna, dude. That's all I got to say about that one. Fucking Magirna. All right. Let's get one more game. Let's get one more game. Shouts to Pokemon Sleep, by the way. All right, here we go for the last game. My opponent's got a really weird team. He's got your Galgi, which is literally just um, Magirna setup fodder. He's got Urshifu Dark, which after an Iron Defense, like we saw, it can one. Actually, I think Magirna's gonna win this team, win this game like right off the rip. Um, his team's also it's kind of weak to uh, Halucha. If the Clef is defensive, it needs a hit. Obviously, if it's specially defensive, it dies, which is cool. But yeah, this is looking like a real good Skarm game. This is looking this is looking real good. So I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna get my rocks up here. If he touches me, I get a speed boost. Yeah, that's fine. If this comes back in at any oh, it goes pre-marina. So this I actually really want damage on, to be honest. Um Yeah, I think I'm just gonna or do I just wanna spike? Kinda just wanna spike, honestly. I'm just gonna I'll just Brave Bird for damage. I think that's fine. Yeah, if he subs, then I can just break it next turn. He scalds, that knocks me out, that's fine. We can go into our Rillaboom here, nice and freely. And he should really switch out here. He's got a Scizor, he's got a Mandibuzz, he's got a Clef. He should really switch here. Let's see, all right, it goes into Scizor, which is really nice, because we can just get a free Fire Punch now. Um, there's really no point in going zone, because we don't have Hidden Power Fire. Um, I mean, granted, zone's like... Zone's very expendable this game, and if the Scizor has knockoff, I don't really want to go Marowak. Um, and we're also Choppleberry, so we'll take a superpower. Um, I'm just worried about him. And if he goes Dragalge, then I just start setting up with um, with Magirna. So we're going to go into this and just click T-Bolt as he is U-turning. Okay, so that's probably just going to be Dragalge. Yep, that's fine. So what's he going to be, like, Focus Blast or something? Like, do I do I care about that? Also, I resist, like, everything he does. I'm going to attempt to uh, go for a sub, I think. I don't know what your Gouji does right now. I haven't fought one yet. Flip turn. Oh, shit. That's, like, almost hype, I guess. Who's coming in on my substituted Magnezone, bro? It's going to be probably Urshifu, but I will body press that thing. I will totally body press that thing. As it's pre-marina. He's giving me his pre-marina. That's very nice of him. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Goodbye. Cool. He goes Urshifu. Um, let's see. There's one turn of Grassy Terrain left. I don't want to go Halucha because I'm going to get crit. Unless he close combats. You guys think he close combats here? My dogs are going crazy in the background, guys. I do apologize for that. Sometimes dogs just do what they do, right? Um, if he So here's the thing. If he locks himself into the dark move, I think I go pre-marina. And if he locks himself into the fighting move, I go into something else. As he does go for the close combat. We actually, I, we're actually going to live that because of our Chapelberry. I kind of forgot about that. And Uri Shufu is... Well, I can actually save this now, too, by going Marowak. Let's see if he doubles expecting that. He kind of does, I guess. I don't actually know if that gets me or not, but... I'm just gonna start setting up with the uh, gear now. As he foul plays, that's even better. I'm gonna go for an Iron Defense before I start going for Calm Minds, because his way of beating this is Urshifu and Scizor. But after one Iron Defense, I should be good. Let's see if he's Taunt. I haven't fought any Taunts yet. Uh, I'm gonna Iron Defense once more. Just to make sure this can't do anything. Oh, Sword Stance. Cool. Um, I'm going to Iron Defense again, I guess, right? And then Stored Power should be really good. Alright, yeah, it's 180 base power. Let's see. That's a 2 hit KO. Awesome. Mm, Bullet Punch is not going to do enough unless you crit me, bro. Sorry, dude. I, gr I crit him, too, which is super funny. So, 
Yeah, Magirna is going to win the game right now. Uh, he can't beat this anymore. He does not have the tools to win this game anymore. My dogs are so excited for Magirna. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. You probably can, unless I put unless I make the music too loud. But my dogs are so excited for Magirna right now. It's actually crazy. Oh, my opponent just left. Cool. All right. So that's going to be it, guys. Uh, or I guess you can't see. But, uh, oops. I was sure. Yeah, see, he, he left. So that's going to be it, guys. If he reconnects, then, like, I'll unpause it. But if not, that's going to be it. I said that, like, five times. So I think at this point you guys understand that that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Um, tomorrow, Saturday, I will be streaming top four of my draft league. So please make sure you tune in for that on my twitch.tv slash watch It's top four of the Battle Casino draft league. Should be extremely hype. Um, all my matches from the draft league prior to that are uploaded on my playlist. And yeah, that's going to be it. See you guys later. Peace.